you don't hear okay i'm trying to stay close to my mic because i'm having to use sm58 this time my uh, uh <coughs> cable's going bad looks like on my on my lapel mic that i use on my phone this is the phone i always use down here if you can see it on my desk or up there and uh, yeah well, the mic's in front of it anyway it works like that without the uh, lapel mic it has a wi-fi mic but uh, you can hear i've got my windows open i can hear the highway and everything it it picks up all the background noise. It's a <clears throat> different kind of a mic. Probably, I always thought the lapel mic was a condenser mic, but it doesn't pick up background noise. So, oh, let's get over here. And that one does. So it may be a condenser mic. <clears throat> let's see. Um, I'm gonna change. I'm gonna change into my working glasses here. <clears throat> and uh, normally I stay right by the mic, so my sound is gonna ch not be. It's gonna may not be as good. It may be better overall. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I just you know when I'm working so uh anyway oh back to work on my uh let's see we'll do cam one and then just go back to work on my uh, <clears throat> um uh, belt that's what that thing is my belt <clears throat> and I hope that all the noises and things that I, I when I was doing my test I always do a test before I start a new video the noises i saw was pegging the me you know the meter and uh it would just intermittent so anyway i hope that that's not in that other video it may be i just noticed it during that test and i just got got through doing a you know an hour and 15 minute video and then taking a break <clears throat> so anyway i've got my belt here's the thing if you didn't you know if you hadn't seen the previous video my belt is uh it's old <laughs> and ugly but it's my only belt and i like it it's comfortable and I may, uh, well, I don't know. If I, I, I probably won't buy another one right now. I mean, I, I think I've, I've got it fixed enough to wear it already. I've already fi uh, sewn up one. Uh, so what can I do? Yeah, let's leave it twisted up there. I've already sewn up one row. The whole thing just fell off. And, yeah, it was so funny because it fell. First, the buckle fell in the toilet. And I still had the belt around my waist. I went over and washed, washed it, washed my hands and arms real good. Went back and went back over there, not thinking, and I started pulling this out. And I thought, well, it was sticking way out, you know, and flopping in the breeze. And uh, I started pulling the, you know, the other end of the belt out, and that, this was just barely hanging because this was completely loose. And uh, so this fell in the toilet. <laughs> so I had to be a man and use my hand twice and get that stuff out of the toilet. So anyway, there's another row of threads that were another row where it was sewed together, and actually. It had been tingling like that for a long time. It's getting to where it's kind of bothering me because it's kind of, it kind of sounds like you're wearing spurs, and every time I walk it, it was doing that. So, uh, but I had no, that's what made me notice that this was, the threads were coming loose a week or two ago. Well, it didn't take them long to completely come all the way off. But I sewed that up, and you see the, you know, original holes, and so that makes it easier, sort of. <coughs> uh, actually, it made it take longer because uh, I'm going to get my needle back out. I put it back in here so I wouldn't lose it. And uh, so I'll get my, I, all I have, this is the only half-decent thread I have. And it's, I mean, it's black. It's good. But it's not really as tough as you want for sewing, you know, leather and upholstery. I used to have a big old roll of upholstery thread. But I, I guess that's been gone. Either, well, it's probably not gone. A lot of my stuff I had when I had my own home was is in boxes in the garage for over 20 years so um can't get to you know can't get them can't get to them anymore um but i keep hoping i'll get get my own place again and it might happen in the next year or two we'll see okay i'm trying to use the i tried this before and i couldn't do it but i'll try again I can't see it. My my vision is not good enough. I can't even tell where the hole is when I just look at it. Oh, I kind of looked because uh, the camera, it you know, it throws my coordination off to try to just use the camera. If I get close, kind of close to that blurry thing. One time I was trying to thread a needle. On, I just remember this. It's pretty sure it's a true story. I didn't dream it. Uh, trying to thread a needle one time a year or two ago and. Uh, <coughs> looked under the magnifying glass <coughs> I just couldn't get it <coughs> I was trying to thread the pointy end 
I keep going off to the side. I get so close. Oh, I think I got it. Well, I got the. It didn't go through. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. it doesn't have any bur, you know, burrs on it or anything. I cut it with a good pair of scissors earlier. <clears throat> I already went through this in my once today. This is the thing that just makes me never want to sew right here. But I don't like hand sewing anyway. I was saying before, I'm going to cut it off now. I was saying, <clears throat> I started sewing when I was a kid. I started learning to sew. And my mom had a really nice 1950s Singer sewing machine. And I learned on that. And I used to sew my jeans and do all kinds of stuff. And I didn't make things from scratch hardly. I don't know if I ever did. But uh, I used to like to, well, I used to like to flare my jeans and make them into bell bottoms and patch them when they had holes in them and stuff. That's what I did. <laughs> but, uh, and I got tired of that as I got to be a little older, but didn't really do it anymore much. But, um, uh, Oh, well, now I've got it in real good shape. I twist. I tried to twist it to make it tighter, and I twisted it the wrong way and unraveled it. Try one more time. I guess twisting it's really. It'd probably be better just to maybe just wet it down and don't twist it at all. So we'll try that. Well, the last time I had to get it, I actually got it under. I may have to do it. Again, it looks like I should just be able to do it. I can see it. I just can't hit. My coordination won't work to hit the spot. Now I really can't get coordinated. It's kind of like welding, you know. You <clears throat> you can't look at it. I mean, I have to look at it. My my helmets are really dark. I got two of them, but they're really dark. And so I got to look. And then flip the helmet with one hand and start with the other. And try to hope that I got the right spot, you know. <clears throat> That's about a 50-50 deal there. I don't know why I had so much unraveled. Okay, so I'm going to try it with my close-up magnifying glass. Actually, last time I did it kind of like that. And... Uh, <clears throat> It's almost, it's not bad as far as being in the, like some of it's washed out, but I'll just try to use the other part of the, you know, screen or whatever you, oh, I've got my, I didn't move that, I don't, I put that up there so that I can mute and unmute, I need more workspace here, <laughs> so I can mute and unmute my phone mic, but I don't have to have it out the whole time, oh, I dropped it, knocked it off in the floor. Or felt it hit my foot too. Oh, good. Land where I can see it. At least that's uh, shiny. I thought, oh, now I got to put alcohol on it, but that's when you're uh, getting splinters out. Which I got a splinter during my getting ready to do all this today. And I end up digging a hole in my leg. Trying, I couldn't see to tell whether I was really getting it or not. This is going to be better or worse. It's really blurry. I guess I got to get another screen or something. Maybe this is not the best one. Maybe that other one. Well, the other one you need to be further away from. This is the one that's supposed to be for the closest. It's the most magnified. <coughs> yeah, I'm getting way off the mic, but I got to get down there to do this. Maybe, no, I think I need to be further away. I'm actually far sighted. That, I can't see that. That's just a blurry mess. I don't know that that helps. Except for that I can look at what I'm working on. That's kind of one reason why I don't... I've, I've thought for years I ought to buy me one of those magnifiers on a stand, you know. But now that I have this endoscope, some half, sometimes it works pretty good. Depends on what I'm trying to do. If it, something like this, it takes great coordination. Um, I can't do it on the video. You know, looking up at the monitor, it's really hard to do. So 
let's try and see what's getting me it starts irritating me and making me get really uh like you want to throw stuff you know did i get it i think maybe i got it yes i got it now don't don't accidentally drop it or anything i'll wrap some around my finger right now okay <clears throat> now i'm gonna pull it out as long like as long as i can and then cut it off tie the ends <clears throat> and then tie them together where's my ends at That's one of them right there around my finger. Yeah. Got a little bit too more on one there than I do on the other. There we go. I know I'm not staying under the cam the endoscope, but well it's that's why I have two cameras. <clears throat> it's not always possible for me to do that. Oops. Uh, this in a regular old knot then <clears throat> do it twice make sure it's good well actually I don't know yeah there's no point in this in this case okay <clears throat> leave it like that get that needle centered there we go you know I didn't think I had enough I, I took it off the string that I had left I took it off and put it put this new piece on and actually I, I, I guarantee it's about it that other one might have been longer than this one <laughs> but that's how I did it before and I was able to go I, I should I just didn't think I didn't want it to not be long enough and you know have to start again because the last time it worked I went I doubled went across it once and then went across it again because this is not very not very big thread and uh, <clears throat> now we'll see now is this going to be a little easier since I've got one row already sewed or, or harder because I left the uh, see I left this on there because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to do both of them I was afraid I'd get so antsy and worn out that <clears throat> I couldn't do them both oh I got a light on here let's see is that gonna help or hurt I got a light on the camera last time I had it on you know what I might be better off just like turning that where I can see it better instead of having that camera light on because it was causing reflections and stuff yeah this time I'll turn it around the other way maybe I'll yeah this might work let's try it and see Let's go to the back side so that my knot will be on the back side. <clears throat> I'm not sure where to put the leftover of the belt. I think if I leave it coiled up over there, you can't see it anymore, but if I leave it coiled up, then yeah. let's put it in my no, let's yeah, let's put it in my lap. I don't want it the weight of it, you know, bring it dragging it off to the floor. Let's try with the, oops, my thumb. I got rough, dry fingers and hands, thumbs. And every time I touch that string, it, it hangs on to it. And I think I need the light, actually. Let's see. Maybe that'll work. Yeah, maybe that'll help. Now my, let's try where I had that before. I'm gonna wrap it around my tin, my uh, sewing tin. Maybe that'll help keep it all in one place. Let's see. Ah, got one. I'm gonna leave some sticking out. Let's see, how did I do that last time? I left enough sticking out for me to make a knot. 
And then I uh, I almost went over to the wrong side there. There's a side track. Got a little side track. Get it to line up. Oh, 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 oh. That is not in the right place. I've already messed up. I think I've already messed up. Or have I? Can't see to tell. Yes, I have. Dang it. Still not sure. Oh, I haven't done a, a whole. Yeah, I haven't messed up yet. There's no thread stopping it from going back where it belongs. I was trying to keep it in the wrong place. I just noticed one thing though. It doesn't go through. That doesn't go through to the other side. So actually, that was a mistake that saved me. I think. I don't know how I did that. How did I completely miss the other one? There. I don't know what I'm going to run up with here, but there. Now I'm going to leave that so that I can tie, tie them together. It's hard to remember to stay in the Yeah, that is a, a whole lot easier to find both of those holes. I like I had so much trouble doing that the first time. It's a whole lot easier now with uh, <clears throat> going off and all over the place again. It's not going to stay wrapped anywhere, I don't think. Now, the lights, it's not as bright as I had it last time, but I don't think I want it real bright because it reflects too much. It's like I must have got my Oh, it's just that black clasp or the the tongue? Is that the tongue of the belt? Is that what that's called? Whatever that thing is that you stick in the hole to hold it to, makes it stay together. <clears throat> I don't know. What's the best when I had this laying in the oh other direction, maybe I should just do that. Then I didn't have as much of a fight with it. So let's try going that way. Let's just make sure this is going to be... Yeah, the thread is on the correct side. It's going to take a lot more than just those two. Now here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tie this a couple of times. Oh, and leave it long enough so that I can tie it. I had it long enough, but not barely. Because I don't want to run out of thread either. So I don't stand over the right way. Well, yeah, okay, right there ought to give me enough to tie it now and then have some left to tie the two ends together. I've made it work out that I, so where I could tie the two ends together when I got done. Last time. Can't seem to get it to. I need another hand. Put your finger right there. wrong direction. I'm trying to get it to come out tight. That's what I'm not getting. I have some very small little nose. Maybe I can do that. That's how I ended up tying it when I was done with just these. I gotta get it down through that again. Ah, too much of a curve there. Okay. Yeah, this is hard. 
farm. I used to be really good at this sort of thing, too. Hope you can hear me. I'm a lot, I'm used to when I do things like this, I wear my lapel mic and it doesn't matter. Okay, that's not working for me. I'm just going to do it again like a double. When you tie your shoe and you, you want to make sure it don't come untied, do it twice. Well, sort of. Usually tie a bow and then tie the bow into one of these kind of knots again. I think that got it cinched up pretty good. If not, oh well, that's the best I can do. I may have a loose. No, it seems okay. So, now let's go through the whole thing again. can't see oh maybe I, I forget to I forget that I can look no my coordination's too bad for that I'm gonna get reflected I don't know where I'm going have I been up and down I guess I skipped I might have skipped a couple of rows See, I want to go all the way to one end to the other and then come back. But I want to have double, you know. I think I skipped one here. So I'm going to go into that one. And then we'll go into the next one. Didn't uh, this would have probably been easier if I would have, you know, done this one first with this not in the way. But I would, like I said that already, I was afraid I wouldn't be able to do them both. And I wanted to at least get the main one done. Trying to see if that last row, the very last row that I can see now, is actually done. Okay. All right. See where the next one. Yeah, I've already been in this one, but I'm just going there again because I had skipped across. I don't can't believe I did that. I thought I was seeing it. Trying to hold the texture. It's really making it tough, though. I need to be able to do that. I'm going to turn that light on. Yeah, at least, yeah, it may, I don't know what, it's not, might not be as good on the video, but it makes me see it better. And that's the main thing here. Okay. Yeah, I had to use the pliers every time last time. Um, and it was really hard to line them up. Now it's basically lined up. Yeah, if I pull tight on that, then I see... See the next hole a little better. There we go. It does kind of make it easier though to just grab that. Get the pliers. It makes it a 
make sure I don't get something really messed up. Yeah, like that right there going around the whole buckle. Like that other uh, little tail I left for tying, it keeps getting in places. It makes me think I've really messed it up. Good now. Well, I keep banging into my thing. I bent it that time I hit it so hard. Now what happened? I think it locked it up. Well, that's weird. Whoa, I'll be darned. I wonder if the wires are loose in that, too. Well, no. Let me click off of that scene and back on it. Maybe it'll straighten up. But that shouldn't make it do that. Just bumping into it made it freeze. Okay, it's still frozen. I wonder if the wires are loose in it. Thumping it. <laughs> See if thumping it helps. It's really messed it up. Now it's dark even though I have the light on. I'm kind of twisting on it, seeing if that would fix it. Doesn't have a focus, by the way, and it gets really hot with that light on. Look at that. And lately, I've noticed if I unplug it, um, let me go back to desktop again. Sometimes that straightens uh, the regular cameras out. I don't know about that one. Let's just go to it. No, let's just go to those two. It's messed up. Maybe it's because I got the light up on my head. Maybe it finally decided to. Yep, that's what it was. Uh, it uh, opened its. It, it ended up finally adjust. I don't know. It's it's auto the automatic adjustment. You know, for the uh, lighting, it couldn't handle that. Uh, but it took an awful long time to decide that, didn't it? Should have done it a while ago. Let's give it some light. I think that's how far behind my stream is. is it, did I ever even check my sound at all when I started? I guess I'm getting the sound okay, even with my head down there and my mics. One good thing with the the V amp and the uh, back back here, the V amp and uh, everything. Uh, I can't even think of all the settings I have set in it. It will. Um, it's got a compressor on it, so I can have the gain up pretty good, and but but the compressor will stop it from you know over gaining and feeding back, or, or if I get too close or from slamming. The, and I have a noise uh, noise gate two in it. So now I don't want that line up. I think it's taking such a long time for me to see what I'm doing there. I don't, surely it wasn't that long though. Sometimes I have to get off of the endoscope to get things done. I try to stay near it, stay under it, but well, now it's 
think it froze again. I should have rebooted my computer, I guess. I didn't because it I figured it'd be okay. That's what happened. I should have rebooted the computer. Only thing I can try well, I can go without the go on without the endoscope, which is what I may have to do because I don't want to restart the stream again. Um, but I can try unplugging it and plugging it back in. Let's see. I'm going to go back to... It doesn't really matter where I am. Go to camera two. That's the only one where you can actually see me. Uh, lately, I've been having to... when I, If I forget to plug in the endoscope and I already open up open camera, I mean OBS Studio, I have to uh, turn off OBS Studio, plug it in the endoscope, and then... So let's try it. It's some, it used to work. <clears throat> Basically, I'm, you know, rebooting the endoscope. I unplug it and plug it in back in. Because it's got little processors in it, too, just like a computer. Now, if it works... It's there, but it's it's showing the last image it had. It's frozen. It probably ain't going to come back. Well, dang it. Okay, so um, I'm going to go to the just this camera. No, not that one. This one. Then you can at least pretty well see what I'm doing. And I uh, guess I might as well move the endoscope out of the way. Need the mic. I don't know where to put it if it decides to work again. So. Yeah, that'll get it out of the way. Okay. <clears throat> of course, I don't have it to help me with, but help me. Let's see. Maybe I can use this as a stand like I was doing before. And uh, try this other. Where's the other? Got one of them in my hand, but... It's such a small, see I got two. Uh, the smaller one's closer up, but it's also a lot, lot smaller field of view, so. But I'd really need that one probably up a little higher. It can, I can use it up a little higher. Uh, let's see what we got here. Well, here's what I can do then. Normally this is what I do, hanging off the table. And uh, I'm just going to put it. I know it's getting blocked by the microphone, but you, you're not going to see what I'm doing anyway. Um, I don't know. That might be too. I'll try it and see. But there was not enough space for me to work. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Now you see why I don't sew anymore. I get like this. I'm starting to get real edgy and fumbly and everything's going wrong. Damn, come it. Now I'm getting pissed. All right. This is, this is, uh, I can just get this finished. <laughs> I'm in the big middle of it now. So. can see it fairly, fairly well, but it is a bit, there were benefits of that, well, having it up on the table, there were benefits to that, for sure, for hitting that second spot, and for staying near the mic, that ain't working, I, I can't. It's too out in the breeze there. It just okay. I need to just raise this up a little higher. Well, I'll try using the littler one because it doesn't have to be up as high to work. 
and uh, it doesn't need as it needs to be closer. That's what I'm trying to say. I'll try to work that to my advantage. Oops. But like, if I have this laying on the table, then it helps it line up with that buckle flying in the breeze. Oh, wait. I know this is something I got. Ah, oh, this is hurting anyway. I'm tired of wearing these things. Those things squeeze my... Those uh, safety glasses, they're good, but they squeeze right in right here on my, above my ears really bad. I got a jeweler's thing. Let me go get it. That's what I need, third hand. So this will allow me to see without having to, that was just starting to bother me. This will allow me to see, it should work just like this. This is what I usually have it on. Yeah. Could have thought of that earlier. I could have done that and just tried to keep it under the camera and let you see and me see at the same time. Hi. Right. Get it just right so it won't hurt. Yeah, I needed to get that. I, I, I was kind of noticing it, but I was ignoring how my... How my, uh, you know, temples, like not temples, but over my ears there was hurting. So, I think that was part of what was irritating me. There you go. Now I can see where I'm going. Yeah, I should have done this with the first one. Uh-oh, I think I had a knot in it. Oh, no, that's just the other, my, my extra tail for tying, my tying tail. I only have to get to the end, two more, and then back again. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh, uh, I guess that's a better view than the other way with the mic in the way anyway, isn't it? I'll leave it like that. Since I don't have the endoscope anymore. I might as well unplug it. Well, I was going to check and see if it came back. But I can't see the computer screen with this on. Oh, and it won't stay up either. It only it will only sit and yeah it's not gonna work. So camera one, yeah the mic's in the way and I need the mic because of my other mic. Well I'm having more trouble with my gear lately today. Yeah this is the only one bad thing about this little jewels thing. It's got a bad tightening rig and I've reworked it a couple of times. Made it to where it will work, but you got to turn it as tight as you can get it, and it still won't stay for very long. Let's see. It's all right, though. It's, it makes me able to do some things that I just couldn't do without it. Now I don't know for sure which direction I was going. Oh, okay, yes, I do. No threads there. Okay, now. Try to keep that to where it doesn't tangled on stuff. It's better to push it through with your fingers if you can because or get it started because you can feel this you know the other side whether or not you're getting getting the right place. It helps you to like I said earlier in the previous video, I you should be using a one of those round point needles for this going through these pre-existing holes but I don't have one though if I do I don't know where it is I used to have a whole set of upholstery needles and all kinds of stuff and actually I had those here in the house since I came back I just don't know where they got off to but 
I said earlier, I was saying I think they might be in my stuff in boxes in the garage, but really, uh, I swear I had those for years here in the house, so I don't know what happened to them. Okay, in this house. Okay. I don't know how to say it right. Okay, now i got to go back. Uh, another set. Yeah, it's got a little light on it, and it can, and you can even make it look closer if you need to. I think that other one would be too close, and it'd make me dizzy. Uh. Oops. I know I felt it. It didn't, uh, it had a knot in it somewhere. Dang it. That's all we need. No knots, please. Yeah, I think it's going to be all right now. I don't think it was a, a real hard knot. I think it was just a little a weight. Maybe it is. I don't see it when I pull it back. I guess I need to just hang on to both pieces and try to get it on through. There. I can get rid of some of that. It's trying to wad up. There it is. I think it might have a knot in it, but... No, it was just twisted. Ow. Got the cup. So put the, don't go too fast when you do that. I've got my thumb, in, you know, between my finger and my thumbnail. You end up... You'll end up just sawing your finger... That thing only wants to go back and forth the way it wants to go. Okay, now, it's already loosened up again. Looks like I skipped a couple at some point there. Where's that other tape I really did? Well, you know what? I might not have skipped. It might have been because I was going the other way. That one time when I thought I had skipped on the other one, that might have been what it was. Because on one side, it'll show to be, you know, when you've only run across one one time, one side it shows to be every other, and the other side it shows to be every one. But that doesn't act like it's lined up. I mean, I know it should, it's close, it should be. But yeah, with the real pointy needle, it all, if you don't hit the little hole, then it'll just start trying to make a new one. And I don't want that. It's, it's really, with, it's a pretty big needle, it wouldn't want to go through very good. Sometimes if I'm just looking... Get it started and on this side, and then turn it up. Sometimes I can see. Sometimes it may just help it line up. But you gotta hit that first one first, <laughs> or you can hit the second one. I can see better, but still things are a little blurry, and I don't know why it's. Maybe it needs to be more flat. I kind of, I should, uh, that's kind of my rule. I rebooted the phones, the router, the modem, the laptop, but I didn't reboot the desktop. But like, well, I've only been streaming an hour. It'll be fine, and I didn't want to have to, you know, restart everything. I still always do another audio video test. But I just thought it'd be a lot quicker. It wasn't. Of course, I discovered, and then I discovered the problem with the... Don't understand why it doesn't want to go into that other one. It looks like it should. And I can see that hole.
biting me, for sure. There. Sometimes it does help to kind of tighten that up a little bit. Let's see. If I can get a hold of it. Wrap it around my finger a little bit. Maybe that'll help. It's not working. Pretty much there's no more knots in it. Yeah. Maybe I just forgot how I was doing it. Yeah, I remember I was tugging on that. I keep thinking that I'm still under that endoscope and I can only have it in one place and it's not really the best place. And I'm not there. It's not, not there. There we go. Hey. Go that way, though. Yeah, by pulling on that, uh, that was the, I actually forgot by tugging on the, you know, the, tightening it up, it helps line them up because they slip a little bit, they move a little. So which way am I supposed to be going? Let's see, I was closer to the edge and I was working my way back. Okay. I think. Let's see. Yeah, I was closer to the edge. Work my way that way now. When you flip it, it gets me a little off sometimes. There we go. Yeah, I've used. Uh, well, I've so I've repaired upholstery. I didn't make anything, but I've repaired upholstery. Well, I kind of did make something. First, when I bought my, I just remember the first time I got any, I don't know if it's the same pair of set, but upholstery needles is what the what I bought. And the, which they, they they work for stuff like this too, leather that already has holes in it. Um, my, I had a 64 Chevelle when I was in high school. And I, uh, again, I've forgotten. I forget every, God, every time. Every time I get mixed up about which way to go, I think I can tell by the ones that have look solid and the ones that are skipping along. <coughs> I think. Sometimes I can't even see the thread even like this. Trying to, I can't see it. I'm trying to feel the thread with the needle. Okay, I think I know which way to go now. I should, yeah, I should be, I think I should be heading towards the knot that I'm going to tie to, I think. My uh, 64 Chevelle had uh, Naga hide, you know, fake leather, plastic, with uh, cloth inserts, the seat covers, and 
Anyway, the way they were made, I figured out I could take them off. And uh, I put fu white fuzzy material in uh, inserts in it. Cause I liked that white fuzzy stuff. This was in 1973 or 4. Actually, no, I didn't put white. I put blue because it was a blue car with blue seat covers. And it was a six-cylinder. And I didn't like that. So I ended up getting me a 350 put in it. And then it was a hot rod. It was not a four-barrel 350. It was a two-barrel 350. But it still ran pretty good. We're getting there. We are getting there. I think this is the next to last one. Looks like we may have never doubled up on that one. Oh, yeah, we did. I don't know if this last one... Yeah, it has. It looked like it maybe it had never been hit, but eh, I got it. Okay, so so far I haven't poked my fingers with the needle yet, so let's keep away from that thing. I'll try not to do that. There we go. And you know, well, I don't have one anymore. I was say, I wasn't wearing those safety glasses for safety. I didn't figure I would be that reckless, but uh, <laughs> it's really not a bad idea. You, you might make one little slip, and it would be the last one. But I could go up under these things, you know. So it th I just thought of it. I thought, be careful. So I'm being careful. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I really wish that endoscope was working. Okay, so it all, I got it all lined up where I can tie my last knot. And, uh, yeah, I still need these. I was thinking, is, wondering if the camera one would be better. Well, it's just got that micro. It's closer, but it's got that, uh, I can't, so what? It's not working, it's wor not really working, it's way behind. Let's try it again. Sometimes this camera, and lately it's been camera one, sometimes these cameras just don't want to respond. Okay, let's see. I'm confused about which side is which. Okay, all the belts over there. Yeah. Since it's behind, it's really throwing me off. Well, it's so far behind, I'm not even going to try it, I think. Yeah, this is going to be better. At least you're not blocked by that shiny. That shiny microphone just makes where you, even though something might be a little closer, you just don't hardly see it, you know. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure most, everybody's tied a knot before, so, anyway, so, uh, it's more, I don't know, it's not really, definitely not a how-to, well, I guess it's a how-to if you just have no clue how to do something like this. But I'm no sewer, I figured that out. I'm no leather worker. This is not, you know, upholstery thread or leather thread. It's not. I'm just why I went twice. If I had some good strong thread, I would have just went across it once. 
Although that's kind of good, it makes sure every. I mean, I'd rather have the better thread. But I'm glad I went both ways, for sure. And uh, I think uh, there's been times when I did this one, I thought, oh, it won't last no time with something. Well, my pants that I have on, I think this is the thread I used to the. Uh, you know, they have uh, buttons, not snaps. And uh, well, I've got two or three pairs, and they're all the uh, you know over the years the buttons have worn the, the the hook hole all the way through, and so they don't hook, and so I can't wear them. And uh, I finally fixed these because there's down to the last pair. But you can see why, like I was saying about sewing, I just can't bring myself to do it again. Uh, and fix the rest of them so now I'm going to tie tidy didn't like the first step of tying your shoes now I'm going to wrap it around and pull it through and try to get it as close as I can I didn't do very good last time but I couldn't see what the heck I was doing I can see better now with these on maybe I can do it let's see get it wet maybe it just keeps just four strings they, they want to unravel before you get them tuck it around the just wrap it around itself and pull it through the hole, you know. Use your finger to make a loop hole. Yeah, and if you hold it down right while you're pulling it, it'll end up, the little knot will end up, there we go, right down on it. And that's a safety knot, I guess I'd call it. I usually do two or three of them. Because if you just tie that first step of your bow, well, it's going to come loose. It's just going to unravel. And I see people that sew that are really good and know what they're doing do that. I've watched some videos recently, some ladies, you know, and uh, they just didn't they didn't do this. I've always, I learned to do this when I was a kid, just by trial and error. If you don't, then you, what you sewed will come loose, especially when you're doing it by hand. If you do it with a machine... It'll go last a pretty long time before, but it will end up coming loose. And if I could have done this, I wish I'd have thought to put this thing on before. Now I've got three of those loop knots. I don't know what you call knots. I learned a few over the years, but I don't remember none of them now. The names, I mean. I remember what I didn't know how to do. I learned some real fancy ones when I was working in the telco business. Okay, uh, you had to do some special ones to tie the strings down in the rack. The string, you string to tie the cables down in the rack. The first one I did, it's like a half inch off the off the base of the leather. And the other one, it's right down on it, all three of them. And I just left a little... So it won't come loose, but if, if that thread begins to unravel, it will come up to that knot and... So it'll have, it'll, the thread will be looser. I can't stand to have that on any longer. It makes you feel dizzy. And it, sque it squeezes my head, you know, so that it won't fall off. It's tight enough that it squeezes my head off. So. Uh, okay, so uh, I did it. And uh, I'm, I'm pleased with that. Now I got everything back, you know, I got this back in its right place. It won't. Only thing that'll jiggle is that, but that won't jingle when I have it on. So, of course, it's old and seen better looking days, but uh, I can't believe how copper colored that it is uh, underneath the chrome. If you think, I wonder if that really is copper. But uh, see if switching to the other camera will let me show it a little closer. We'll try. Let's see. Yeah, now it's working like it should. But uh, I'm leaving the strings. I can see them. I don't guess you can really. You can't see them already. And they're going to be up against the pants, so it won't matter. They're not that long. And I, I was hoping you'd be able to see them there. But well, now you can see them. Uh, the one's tied all the way down. I could cut more off. That other one I can't because it's it's that far. 
And that's the safety knot, and I want that no matter whether it's sticking that far up or not. <clears throat> anyway, so fix my belt. Oh, man. Uh, I need, I mean, I, my pants would stay up without it, so. I, I couldn't, even if I ordered, ordered another one, I probably won't now. I'll be happy until it, <laughs> until it completely falls apart. Uh, I've had it for, I think I bought it in around 2000 so. <laughs> About $10 belt. Can't beat that. So, uh, I think I'll leave, I'm not going to tie a knot in that string, but I'll leave it on the needle. Although that, well, that, that needle's too big to sew much of anything, but, well, you can probably sew blue jeans with it. I don't know. Yeah, I think I'll put it in. No. You need to wrap it around something to keep from having it wad up, you know. This other one, the needle's too big. <clears throat> so I guess I'll stick it. I thought I had, I guess this one is... Yeah, this is wood. I love those wood spools. So it's not hollow in the middle. You can't stick, you know, these ones that are hollow in the middle with the paper on the end, you can stick the needle through the paper and then then wrap it around the deal here. See, a lot of times it helps to start, you know, where that is. Where the There's a little n notch in there that's really meant to stop that from unraveling. But you can use it to hold your, your uh, only thing is, I, well, since I see that extra thread, hopefully I'll realize I got a needle in there. Sometimes, yeah, it's, it's falling back out, so I'll see it. <clears throat> I'm probably more likely to find it that way than it was laying down in the bottom with all the other pins and stuff, and I never did see it for a long. I looked for another needle, and I didn't see it at first, and I was going to, I was going to use this little small, really sharp one. I knew it was going to be a pain because it would just stick. I'd never get it back. It would stick, you know, trying to make new holes. It's small enough it would go right through the leather pretty easy, which would be all right if that's what I wanted to do. <clears throat> but anyway, I, somehow I saw that one. So, oh, nice video, huh? So I put that one over there. Oh, that's even nicer. <clears throat> that delay always helps. I had already done the yawning and everything. When I switched, it still got me because that one was behind. It's tricky like that. Well, that made me tired. I had all other plans. I'm, I'm planning on... Uh, well, I won't go into all that. I'll put that in with the video that had something to do with it. But I had other plans. And so now I'm kind of pretty tired. <laughs> What's 417? No wonder. Okay. Um, there we go. Fix the belt at least. And, uh, that's good. That's good. Glad I fixed it. Okay. Um, well, that's all I got for that. And, uh, now I will definitely reboot everything. Okay. I'll see you next time, next video. Bye-bye.